I'm Kate Costa with New Venture Mentor, and this is your weekly dose of entrepreneurship news. Of course, the big news this week is the Supreme Court's upholding of the Affordable Care Act. Now, depending on who you ask, the Supreme Court's decision is either a great step forward or the worst thing to ever happen. But no matter what your take, if you're a small business owner, you are definitely paying attention. We'll have to wait and see how everything shakes out over the next few years, but small business owners had better start educating themselves about the law's provisions and developing a plan to meet the law's requirements, because small business owners will absolutely be impacted by the new rules. To see what some are saying about the ruling, hit the links below the video. In other news, the Startup Act 2.0, which I reported on a few weeks ago, seems to be getting a lot of support. Having passed in both the House and Senate, the bill appears to be making its PR rounds now, and its flashiest endorsement has come from Google. As a one-time startup that now employs thousands of Americans and continues to hire many more each year, we are proud to support Startup Act 2.0, said former Representative Susan Molinari, who is now Vice President of Public Policy for Google. She continues, Small businesses often use Google to grow, expand, and thrive online, and helping these businesses succeed is a key to our success. Leaving D.C., well, sort of, and heading to Texas, SBA Administrator Karen Mills participated in a roundtable with the San Antonio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce this past week, where she discussed improvements to the SBA Loan Guarantee Program, primarily a sharp focus on streamlining the paperwork necessary to get smaller SBA-backed loans. According to Mills, one primary reason that bankers give for not making smaller loans is that the overhead is too high to justify the work. I've heard the exact same thing from pretty much every small business lender I've worked with, and I work with dozens in the D.C. metro area. When it costs the banks the same amount of money to lend $1,000 as it does for them to lend a million dollars, they just don't see the profits on the $1,000 loan that can justify taking the risk. So, most of them focus only on larger loans, leaving small businesses that just need a small amount of working capital out in the cold. Changing the requirements for smaller loans so that the banks could still make money off of them and are therefore more willing to lend could help these businesses that need to address working capital issues but don't need a quarter of a million dollars or more to do so. As with anything else in government, I'm inclined to say I'll believe it when I see it. That's it for this week in entrepreneurship news. Remember to let the SEC and the SBA know how you think provisions of the JOBS Act should be implemented. And follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this channel for more of the latest entrepreneurship news as well as tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your small business grow. Mm -hmm.